What's up with it, bro? What's going on, man? Nothing much. Introduce yourself, let people know who you are. For those who don't know. Oh man, it's uh, Slayer Hughes, right from uh, St. Louis, Missouri, man. Hey, yeah. Now we down here. We downtown at your grand opening for the Viola the Dispensary. Um, what made you want to get into the industry, especially right now? You know, it's a booming industry. What inspired you to get into it? Well, that's that's it. I mean, it's a booming industry. You know, I'm uh, all about you know free enterprise and, and having the ability to be an entrepreneur uh, to jump in different. Uh, sectors and and see what's you know where the arrow was pointing and, and try to you know throw my hand in the into that business and Viola was was uh, one of those opportunities. I mean, this is Al Harrington's vision. Uh, we played together. I uh, grew up playing basketball together, so I just kind of um, you know jumped on his train and allow um, the information he's gathered all these years and uh, allow to be successful in the business. Yeah. Now, with you coming, you know, from the league, having experience in the league. And just what maybe a year or so during COVID, they kind of canceled like the random drug testing of marijuana. I don't know if it's still going on now, you know, the recent, you know, testing. But um, do you think marijuana hinders the person's ability on the court or it kind of enhances it? Well, I think that it's each person is different. And obviously, you have to be an adult to figure out what works best for you. So, from a basketball, from a competition standpoint, I think that's. Um, to each his own, and you have to figure out what, what really works for you. Mm -hmm. But when you talk about the um, the healing process of you know after competition and allowing your body to relax and allowing yourself to calm down, I think that you know the cannabis is um, is a tool for that for sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, what do you think about like the recent testing of like Dane Leonard after he had like a breakout game and they just he think he tied up with the highest record on Portland. Um, do you think that was a coincidence, or that's something that's pretty normal that happens in the NBA when players have a high performance and get high performing well, game? Well, it looks like it's, it's getting to be the norm, and I think that that's completely disrespectful to the guys that are putting in the work, and spending the time. You know, when I go out and have a great game, you have to think that you know something else other than the work that I put in allowed me to to have that good game. So I think you know. Yeah, we're talking about cancer, but on the flip side, that's, that's completely disrespectful for those guys to have to take a drug test after they, you know, just show it out for the made team. history, right? I mean, that's, that's, that's disrespectful for me. Yeah, yeah. Now, you play, you know, alongside um, LeBron during, you know, the Cleveland run, the early Cleveland run anyway, should I say. And you guys actually made it to the finals back in 2007. Um, what are your thoughts on him with the Lakers in a hole not making it to the prediction, predicted to not even make the playoffs this year? I think it's tough. I, mean, I don't think it's tough. The league is, is, is more and more competitive. Um, obviously, that's why I put the playing game and make sure that you give more teams a chance to make the playoffs. But again, man, he's one of the things, 20, year 20, um, he's still pushing at a high clip. But you need a teammates around you, you need a team around you. You have to worry about injuries. So I think he's done a, a great job, you know, with everything that's going on. I mean, age, number of minutes, the number of games. So I think he got a couple more years in him. Do you think the league is um, softer compared to, like, you started, like, late 90s. Compared to that time frame of, of coming in the league, do you think it's softer now compared to back then? I, I think the rules have changed. The rules have changed. I mean, we promote a lot of scoring. Um, the defensive game is kind of going out of the way. Um, so that's what that's what makes it a, a, a tougher game or more physical game is the rules that they put in. They want to see 120, 130 points a night. They want to see history being made, you know, a couple times a week at this point. Earlier today, um, it kind of plays in part with the last question I just asked, but John ja Morant. Earlier today, um, I guess he went online and like kind of flashed a gun on his video. People are speculating that the NBA may drop drug testing. Shannon Sharp, he's, yeah. you know, he's speaking out against him and saying, oh, he's you know, portraying his role of being like a street cat. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on that, like as far as players making it to the league and still, you know, kind of having their tie to their pass? Well, man, on that side, I think you, you, it, they, uh, you know, you can be drug tested after posting something like that. That's different than, you know, coming off of scoring 70 points and being in the locker room and somebody tapping your shoulder and saying, hey, we need you to go take this P test. Now, if you're out in the streets and then you post your information of what you're doing, I think that they have every right to figure out there's a little bit more behind the scenes because you're showing everything. Um, I just think that he needs uh, he needs a mentor. He needs somebody to come in and, and step in and have a conversation with him. And these, these millions, 
they come in fast, man, but you can you can still lose them. And I think that that's the, the more the story is, is if yeah, if you came from that, now you made it, you don't want to go back, go back to that. Um, last question I gotta ask you: They have this big debate about who is the greatest player of all time. You know, they, they throw out the Michael Jordan, you know, LeBron, and even Steph Curry kind of comes up in in a sense. From your standpoint, what would you say? Who would you say is? Oh, it's MJ for me. Why? Yeah, yeah. It's, I mean, that's um, that's who I've known growing up. I mean, that's the passion that I've learned from. That's the championship pedigree. That's the championship mentality. The championship focus. All of that stuff came from MJ for me. Um, the quality of you know the things that he, the kind of fear that he brought, you know, when he played in the game, and, and is is just different for me. So he's he's always going to be one of my favorites, uh, if not you know. Well, I will say he's a, he's a, he's a, the, the goat. That's the the debate that's going on. I, I use the term that's going on. He's he is the he's goat. The goat. He yeah, is yeah, the goat. yeah. And in, in the, the bigger context. He's still one of the greatest of all times. He's one of the greatest of all time. Gotcha. But if we had to talk in like specifics, like who is the goat? Who's your goat? I say MJ. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, one last question. In the next five years, how would you predict that the in cannabis industry would impact the economy in America? Well, I think it's booming. I think it's booming. I think more states will get on board uh, as far as uh, a medical and rec. And I think once you have that. Uh, the amount of revenue that this this generates, the amount of impact that you can uh, have on communities that are that are underserved, um, and have that be a sole focus because of what cannabis has done to our, our people um, in the years before, I think that it's 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 a win-win situation um, to allow a plant to be uh, a healer, to allow a plant to to drive revenue, to allow a plant to give jobs and things of that nature. Um, there's no reason why a cannabis space can't be your CVS, your Walgreens, you know what I mean? Just having this available to you when you need it. Yes. Well, I appreciate your time, and I appreciate you from choosing St. Louis, your home city, to open up, you know, joining your, open, expand your business. That's oh, man. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yep.